Yesterday morning, flames tore through the home of Felicia Armstrong on Bannock Street, displacing the 34-year-old and her three children. The fire quickly engulfed the wooden structure, and despite the efforts of firefighters, the house was reduced to ash and rubble. I was at work. Um, I just got a training um, to start at Princess, so I was at work, and then when I came home, that's when I got the news because I don't have a phone either. This that really was blue, and... I don't know why I get emotional and stuff, but it's we so really did. Out. Yeah, it's hard, and that just me and the baby, so I don't even know where to start. Fortunately, no one was injured in the blaze. However, Armstrong, her three children, and her daughter-in-law lost everything they owned. Armstrong believes the fire may have been set intentionally and is now in fear for her life. We did not go by over that side because there's a, currently a case happening where um, my daughter-in-law was threatened by someone and the police advised us not to go there as yet um, because we don't know how the fire gets started and whatever. So we, you know, I see videos and stuff and it's really heartbreaking because then that was me and my kids. Né? Armstrong resided at the property for the past two decades but now finds herself searching for a place to call home in the meantime. Women's Department has reached out and um, they're trying to assist as best as they can. Currently we have nowhere to stay. Um, we de we're not even there together because we are for the all over the place to try to figure out where, um, how we could deal with this situation. And so, like, currently Women's Department they try to assist with somewhere to stay. So I was say, like, if anybody have a house or something that's on rent and willing to work with women's, women's department until we get on our feet, that would really be appreciated because I just want to get my kids in at this time right now. And any the assistance, honestly, sir, um, right now I just broken up. I don't know if I say I lack of words and everything just frustrating at this moment. As the single mother and her three children navigate this challenging time, she is calling on Good Samaritans to assist with donations to help them start over and send her kids to school. Women's Department has reached out and um, they are trying to assist as best as they can. Currently, we have nowhere to stay. Um, we de we not even there together because we are for the all over the place to try to figure out where um, how we could deal with this situation. And so, like. Currently, women's apartment they try to assist with somewhere to stay. So I was say like if anybody have a house or something that's on rent and willing to work with women's women's apartment until we get on our feet, that would really be appreciated because I just want to get my kids in at this time right now. And any of the assistance, honestly, sir, um, right now I just broken up. I don't know if I say I lack of words and everything just frustrating at this moment. If you would like to contribute to the rebuilding efforts, please contact Armstrong at six one six three. For it. Vijalvaras, Love News.